Alright, so in this problem we're given that we have a 15 liter volume and a temperature of 301 Kelvin. And in this volume we have different masses of gases. We have some chlorine molecules are in green, the nitrogen molecules are blue, the oxygen molecules are red, and those are the three types. These are three different molecules occupying a volume of 15 liters at 28 centigrade. So, what is the total pressure in here? Well, first of all, we need the masses of each gas. So, mass of the nitrogen, so we'll call it N, even though it's an N2 molecule, equals 3.5 grams mass of the oxygen molecule. It's O2, I'll put an O there. It's 4.5 grams. And mass of the chlorine molecule is going to be 13 grams. 13 grams of chlorine. And remember, these are all diatomic. Although, for the mass, I don't put a second subscript for it. So, molar mass. What is the molar mass of nitrogen? We'll go to our periodic table here. First, what we need, we need molar mass of nitrogen, right? So, nitrogen is over here. 14.01, approximately. So, 14.01. 1 grams per mole. And remember that's diatomic, so that's going to be times 2. And so, woo, number of moles, we're going to be dividing 3.5 grams, so 3.5 is going to be divided by 14.01 grams times 2 moles. Uh, we're going to get 14, or no, 14. We're going to get 0 decimal 1249 moles. So that's the number of moles of nitrogen. Um, molecular mass of oxygen um, equals 32 for the diatomic oxygen. Number of moles. 4.5 grams divided by 32 grams per mole, we're going to get 14 point, 0 point, point 0.1406 moles. And chlorine, molecular mass equals, I don't know this one, so molecular mass 35.45 35. These are grams per mole. Number of moles, 13 grams, divided by 35.45 times 2. Remember that's diatomic. I forgot to write it in here. Two times. There you go. And what's that going to give us? That's going to give us 0 0.183 moles. 1834. And so that gives us our three, you know, molar amounts of each gas. So how does that relate to the or original question you may ask? Well, what we're looking for here is the pressure. We know that PV equals NRT. So, just move the V over to the other side, we get pressure. So P equals NRT over V. And N, we're just going to be using the total sums of each of these molar amounts. So equals for n zero point one two four nine 
plus 0 0.1406 plus 0 0.1834 moles times R universal gas constant 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole. And that's all going to be divided by a straight line. It's all going to be divided by 15 liters. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, so 15 liters. And multiply that by 301 Kelvin. E equals nRT. We're going to get this equal to, so we get approximately 0 0.74 atmospheres. 0 0.74 atmospheres. <coughs> and that is the pressure of each of these. Now what if you want the partial pressure? Say you wanted the partial pressure of oxygen. Well if you wanted the partial pressure of just oxygen here, then you would say don't add that one, don't add that one, just multiply this smaller amount by this, by this, by this. It is a taco, it is a taco today.